That's just how I rock. That's just how I roll. That's just how I rock. And roll, 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 roll. I wanna rock and roll. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your host, Jaden Washington of The True Podcast. Bring you guys another inspirational uh, teaching today. And, and, you know, I want to emphasize why the burning desire uh, is so important in getting to where you want to be in life. Understanding that there's going to be trials and tribulations and there's going to be points in time during the journey that seem like uh, wasn't really meant to be or uh, I'm kind of getting thrown off my path. But that's when that's when that burning desire kind of sinks in and seeps in to then have you to realize that all this is happening for a reason. I'm in the exact position I'm I am right now because that's exactly where I really want to be, whether I like it or not. But at the same time, simultaneously understanding that I have complete control over where I am, complete control over where I'm going to be, where I want to be. Uh, leading into the future, leading into where the vision is uh, really taking place. And I explain it like this because the seeing the picture is what leads you to the action to get to the picture, right? It, it's like seeing the puzzle on the box. You see the puzzle, but when you open the box, it's all mixed up. But some way, somehow... You start to connect the pieces from square one. And I use this analogy because just by looking at the picture on the box, we already know how to complete it. We already know how to complete it. So even by trying out all the pieces just to get one piece to connect to the first piece, that is how life and the journey is. But people... And here's what the average person does that I, I, I've learned to understand. And and even though I've really been here for 20 short years, uh, going on 21, which will be next year, 2023. But what I've realized is that people give up easily now. People's attention spans are really so small now. So their attention spans on their own desires are very, very short. Their attention span and their true feelings on things are now shortened because they've never really had something they truly desired or they either just don't know how to find that desire. But the only reason why they don't know how to find that desire or really build the vision is because they haven't found the answers within themselves yet. And that's just so key to to it all, especially when it comes to progression in anything because progression is just how I see it and my definition of it. Progression is just the realization of something you're missing internally. And I say this because to build the outside world, you must first uh, find whatever it is within. And that goes for the entire universe. The universe was made out of an inner force, which then started creating exterior things, which is now the physical plane that we see today. So people don't understand your thoughts even before you you speak your thoughts which is non-physical right your voice and what you were saying and what you were about to say was already thought about before you even said it and when you truly start to understand these things and understand how fast things really are moving how how uh unique and, and blessed and just divine we are to have such an incredible imagination to 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 be able to think thoughts, to be able to feel our emotions, to be able to comprehend is such a blessing in itself that not a lot of people understand and can even comprehend uh, the real power that even has. And the power is unlimited. The power is limitless. So the acknowledgement of limitless power, the acknowledgement of divine power within ourselves, within our, within our genetic code, within our universal code, which I like to say, uh, it, it's limitless, and it's really epigenetics 
you know, because it, it, it's all dating back through not just human history, but existence in itself. And us even being living creatures and, and, and being really the aliens on this planet goes to show that we already are connected to everything just to be in this physical form. So as this links back to desire, how all of this links back to desire, as you progress and as you start to realize the more you get closer to your desire, the more all of this starts to make sense, the more, oh yeah, my thoughts are things, my thoughts are leading my feelings and my feelings are controlling the action I take. Once you understand that, it all start to change. Great things and great things will start to attract into your life, and not just things, people, experiences, money, uh, 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 compassion, uh, the characteristics of, of what it takes to be that person. You, you got to become to attract whatever it is you want. But 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 just all of it is coming to you because all of the puzzles you're solving within yourself, all the pieces you're putting together within yourself, and. I think it's just so powerful because life and death is in the power of the tongue. A lot of people speak death, and when I say death, negative things. So this can be really any type of negative connotation towards anything. Everything you say is consciously being manifested, and not just through your voice, but there's other aspects of the power of the tongue that people don't tend to understand. And... and, and it all goes, it all roots back to really stemming to the big biblical scriptures and, and things like that. Uh, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Uh, ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Life is as, is as simple as those sayings. But at the same time, the paradox of it is life is very, is has many complexities and, and, and twists and turns, I like to say. So to sum it up, have your desire in mind have the end result in mind your desire is always going to push you through in those darkest times i'm telling you and you can try this for yourself if you're ever if you ever get into a bad mood or if you ever go through something that's just so bad or just so negative write down on the card your goal or your vision or the mission write it down if you are and if you already have it written down just read it and read it and read it every day and read it uh, read it every time you wake up read it before you go to bed read it occasionally during the day and you'll start to realize that the things that you feel like or the things that you worry about in the present moment sometimes and I know we've all experienced this some things that you worry about aren't even big things to worry about they aren't big things. And the second you come to the conscious realization and the awareness of most of my problems aren't big problems, I'm just overreacting to it. When really, if I just focus on building the dream, building the vision, building the goals, and bury my head to build what I want and to become what I want, everything will start to change. And it's so simple because... We live in a world of distractions, I like to say, or, or, or we're living in the world of, of the matrix where the messaging and the programming of if you're in the matrix is be distracted, be nothing, you'll own nothing, you'll have nothing, you're useless, you're, you're, you're under a, a set form of rules that keep you on that level. But like I'm saying right now, and like I always say, the, real, the second you come into the conscious realization of the power of your mind, the power of the free thinker, the power of the man, the spirit man, that's when your entire paradigm changes. That's when your entire life will change. That's when everything starts to change, ladies and gentlemen. And that's where I'm going to end it off. Just always remember, keep the end goal in mind. No matter what, no matter what you go through, it will better your experiences. It will better your relations. It will better your conversations. It will better everything in your life. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, stay blessed. Stay inspired. Godspeed. With that being said, your host, Jaden Washington, the True Podcast. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.